This is Microhydrology, and today we're going to explore the fascinating world of braided rivers and how they create deltas. Picture a river that doesn't just flow in one direction, but splits into lots of smaller streams, crisscrossing like a braid. Pretty neat, huh? So, how do these braided rivers form? Well, these rivers carry loads of sediment, which is made up of tiny bits of dirt, sand, and rocks. When the river slows down or changes direction, it can't carry all that sediment anymore. So, the sediment gets left behind, forming little islands and bars in the river. Braided rivers are always changing. The water keeps flowing, wearing away some areas while piling up sediment in others. This makes the river channels twist and turn, just like a braid. As the braided river reaches a larger body of water, like a sea or a lake, it slows down even more and drops even more sediment. This sediment spreads out, forming new land called a delta. Imagine a delta like a big fan or a triangle made of all that sediment. Braided deltas are really cool because they have lots of channels spreading out, kind of like the fingers on your hand. These channels help the delta grow and change all the time. And guess what? These deltas are full of life. Plants, animals, and even people can live and thrive in these special places. But we need to take care of our rivers and deltas. When we build things like dams, it can stop the sediment from reaching the delta, slowing down its growth. By protecting our rivers, we help keep these amazing braided deltas healthy and beautiful. So, next time you see a river, Look at all the land surrounding you and thank the river for depositing it there. Nature's pretty amazing, right? Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of braided rivers and deltas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. Keep exploring and stay curious.